Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm here for my first or second depending on when I upload this Call of Duty Zombies video. Now this is going to be focused on an easter egg or not really an easter egg but a way to get the die machine um, which is the best gun in the game. Uh, last night I was on a four hour streak with uh, my friends and uh, we were around 45 and it took us about like three hours, three and a half hours because it started with two of us and then my other friend joined mid-match somehow, I don't know how, but yeah. He joined mid-match, and then um, we kept going, and we, we got him the ray gun. Me and my other friend had the um, die machines with both ammo types, the electro and the cryo. I haven't figured out how to do the fire yet, even though you can, and there's probably a uh, wind or something, because it's the four elements, but I don't know. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the die machine and the electro and the cryo ammo types for it. I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So, we'll see uh, how quick I can do this. I mean, it might take me a while because you have to get to round 10 to get it. Most cases, you can get really lucky. You can get it two ways. You can get it from this little machine inside this room right here. And you can get it from... And you can get it from this thing right here, which will suck up souls and then deposit it. So... I'm gonna try to make it to round 10 here. You're still two shot, right? Yes, you are. But yeah, I will see you guys at like round 8, and then I'll show you what you have to start doing. We'll do the cryo first because you can start doing it earlier. And then we'll do the electro once we, uh. That one will take longer, but we'll see. All right, so here we are, finally, round 10. We're just going to want to bring the Megaton. Ignore all the other zombies for now, because they're, they're really not of our best interest. Get that man to shoot at this little packet of mushrooms here. So you see these little mushrooms here? Get him to shoot at the mushrooms. So when they turn purple, that's how you know you've done it. So you're just going to want to wipe the floor with all these zombies, and then focus on killing the Megaton. And don't get locked in a corner like that, like an idiot. Um, yeah. I'm not exactly the best of solos. I usually do best in duos, because that's where I made it my highest. I made it to 40 in duos, and I think I made, yeah, I made it to 45 in trios before my internet cut out. So, and we were set to go a lot farther. I'm a lot better when there's more people to rely on than just my own mistakes. Here, but I'm just going to shred the meg. I'm going to keep one zombie alive. Is that the last one? That is the last one. So we're just going to ignore him. Split the Meg without dying. Wait, what? I killed him? Oh, of course I killed him. Okay, and now that these things are even matter, we're going to just avoid them. And we're just going to... Can I Can I do this? Thank you. It didn't even stun him. Oh, no, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. Oh, no. Alright, so what you don't want to do is get trapped in a corner with these two things all pissed at you and shit. So we're going to move out of here. Because this is like the worst spot to get trapped in. That corner without that thing open is like the worst spot to get trapped in. What is that? Is that insta? That's insta, baby. Oh my god, they yeeted me. Yeah, he's pissed. Okay, and there's two. You're going to see this legendary thing drop. It's going to be a key card. Pick that thing up, and then we're going to leave one alive, and then we're going to go do the first Easter egg. Okay, and you're my torture subject. Oh, nope. You're my torture subject. I'm going to name you... Uh, I don't know. I'm going to name you Edward. What's up, Edward? Come on. All right, so you're going to want to bring the key card that you just found off of those two dead Megaton splits. I don't care, dude. I could care less. Alright, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna bring it to Weapons Lab. Bring it to this little room, and you see this little broken glass thing right here? You're gonna insert key card, and it's gonna give you this. The die remote control. And it's gonna say scanning for whatever whatever it said. 
that's like what die stands for in all caps but that's not what we're going for that's also how you can find other easter eggs if you didn't have these tutorials like this but you're going to want to bring it over here and you're going to want to start a fresh wave i'm just waiting for my health thing to start up because i i have a history of getting trapped in this room um so what it's going to do oh uh, fine so what it is going to do is it is going to start sucking up zombies. How much is that? It's only 750. I'll give me that. So what it's going to do, it's going to say that, and it's going to go right here. You can turn on remotely, and you're going to turn it on, and it's going to open this window, and it's going to start sucking up zombie souls into this thing. So once... So... So it'll start beeping and all that stuff. And after I get my health thing back, I'm going to um, kill the zombie, because I don't want to get trapped in there. I mean, I don't care. Alright, so we're going to stay out here. We're going to train for a little bit and make sure that none are in that room before we start this thing up. So I'm just going to start a little train. Make sure you get about, uh, I think it's like 30 or 40 zombies that you're going to want to bring to this. Okay, shut up, dude. I don't care. My god. Alright, so we're on round 12 here. Dogs come next round, so we're going to want to do this quick. We're going to start up a train of about 30 or 40 zombies. Not that difficult. And just make sure you don't die here. Oh, it's already dogs. That's wonderful. I mean, I do shred them, so we're fine. All right, so just start up a train here. Don't walk into the zombies like I was about to do. Um, so just keep this train going. Keep this train going. Uh, gonna grab a few more, and then we're gonna head into that room at, at, in front of all of them. All right, what's up, boys? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? All right, that should be enough to get it done, I think. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come into this room, activate turn on remotely, and it's going to start doing that. It's going to suck all of them in, and you're going to want to kill all the ones that get past so they don't murk you in the end. You just want to kill all these guys that get past it, and then it will continue to suck them all in. It should be able to suck mostly all of them. And see, it'll say storage at maximum, and then what you're going to want to do is after you finish off these bitches, thank you. There's also, there's also another way to get this. You could either get it out of the mystery box or you could do a trial and get it. But I'm just doing it this way because this is the easiest. Oh, Alright, so after you pick this thing up, right here, die, shockwave. And the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring it over here. To this little box thing right here with like a little flask looking thing on it. And you're going to want to shoot it with that. Bada bing, bada boom. It'll shoot it and make it fall over. We're also going to suck this guy into this thing, because why not? Thank you. Oh, that was 13. Oh, shoot. Eh, whatever. It takes a second. So we're going to pick up this flask, and then we're going to bring it right here to these mushrooms that we shot earlier. Collect cryogenic liquid. And this is what you got to do to get the frozen, or the cryo bullets. The, uh, the electro bullets are a little bit better, but the cryo bullets are also really good still. I haven't tried out the fire or the other, or the other elemental ones, but... This is all we got now. This is all I know how to do. Um, I'll go look on TikTok for the other ones because I figured out how to do these. I figured out how to do the ice one, but the uh, electric one, that took a little bit of in in uh, investigating. But I just thought I'd help share this out here for you guys. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to suck these uh, guys up. It'll take about a minute to fill up that cryogenic bottle thing. Okay, can you not? Yeah, it'll take about a minute to fill that thing up. And once it's full... Where's the dog? Oh, Insta sucks. Nice. Oh, it's another mag. Oh, I'll show you guys a cool trick we got here. Um, if you guys would like to see, if you see a Megaton, just shoot it, and it insta-kills. Well, that's only on this stage. The DIE Shockwave is actually really bad once it gets to higher levels, because it only does 15k once. The other ones are legitimate laser beams that do a billion damage. So that should kill him, and that should kill him. So it's great at the early rounds, but once you get farther into it, it really gets hard to use this thing well. But yeah, it's a really good thing. It should still one-shot the zombies later game as well, but it, it, it'll do nothing against the megs. It will do nothing against the megs. You'll want to keep a secondary gun. Like, I always keep my packed MP5, or if I find a ray gun, I'll pick that thing up. But I almost never got the ray gun. I got the ray gun uh, last game I had, where I went, made it to round 45, and I gave it to Jack, because he joined late and he had nothing. So, the cryo thing. Oh, you're last. I'm going to keep you Oh, no. No, it's Edward again. What's up, Edward? Edward's back. What's that thing? Oh, two times? All right, so we're going to want to pick this thing up, collect cryogenic liquid or filled flask. It'll give you that uh, intel thing right there. And then what you're going to want to do is bring it down here to um, med bay. I will have to open the door here, which... Uh... Oh, no, I could pack, though. 
Nah, it's fine. I have a freaking laser gun. So you're gonna want to bring it in here, and then it'll go right here, and then hit pour out crowds and equip it. It'll freeze off these chains, and then it'll open the crate and switch to die cryo emitter. And now this thing is crazy. I'm gonna buy more armor, and then I can also buy a chopper gunner. So I'm gonna do that. You know, I'm actually going to start it right now. So you want to go into the Dark Aether. And then I believe to start this off, you're going to want to go here. Hey, buddies. What's he doing? You're gonna. This is to get the Electro. You're going to want to go in the Dark Aether and then go over here. And then um, I don't know if one of these spawns per round. I think they only spawn one per round. They might spawn more, though. Yeah. So you're going to want to go here. And then um, there's three things that you need to collect in this. There are three things that you're going to want to collect. Just give me a sec. I need to do some sucky sucky with these zombies. Alright, you're going to want to go down here. I believe this is how you start it. I'm pretty sure. So you're going to want to go down here into... Oh, you scared me. Jumped out of fucking nowhere, dude. Jesus. Alright, you're going to want to go down here. And there should be either a part here. Okay, so it's not here. So that means it's over by spawn. So there's one of three parts that'll spawn every time you go in the Aether. Um, you do have to get the pack punch though. You can't do this straight away. So there's one of three parts that'll say Aether scope part. I don't. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I don't know how to pronounce things, especially when it has an A and an E. Um, yes, here we are. So this golden thing right here, Aether scope part. You're gonna want to grab that thing, and it'll say in the top right that we have one of three items. We're gonna want to go over here, and we're gonna have to go back into the normal world, I think, because uh, they don't spawn. I think I, I it happened the first time I got it. It did. They all did spawn in one round. Okay, can you not? Like Jesus Christ, leave me alone. I'm trying to do an Easter egg. Calm down. Stop. You're gonna die anyway. Leave me alone. All right. So yes. Okay. So they do start spawning once you grab the first part. They do start spawning. So you're gonna want to grab that part, which is on top of the plane mink, and then the final part is down on top of these stairs. Let me see if I can go find it before I have to get kicked out into the normal world again. Oh my god, leave me alone. Alright, we're gonna go down here into the, uh... That didn't kill him, wow. No! Come on, I can grab it, I can grab it, I can grab it. Yes, I got it, let's go. Final Aether Scope part right there. And then once you have all three, I'm just gonna wipe out this wave and leave one alive, because this is going to take a while. I don't know, um, I just saw those parts and I put them together, and then I had to look up what to do with them, because I had absolutely no clue what to do with them, so, I have looked up a little bit, I figured out the ice one all by myself, but the electro one I did have to do some research, because it took a very long time, you have to do about four different, no, stupid, oh my god, okay, I do have insta kill, alright, so what you're gonna wanna do is go below pack, and then you're gonna create the aether scope, build, 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 right here, pick up, Alright, so uh, after this, I believe you're going to want to take the Aether Scope part over to Med Bay. And we're going to do something with it there. I can't... Yeah, I think we got to take it over here to Med Bay. Bring it up here. And now, yes, now the Aether is... This Aether is in here now. So you're going to want to enter the Aether that's in here. I'm just going to kill all these because these are being annoying. I'm going to leave one alive, and I'm going to try to leave one alive. What's that, Carpenter? Nope. Not killing me today, boys. Okay, last one alive. Okay, I'll leave you alive. There we go. Oh, we got Edward back. What's up, Edward? How you doing, bro? Alright. So, Edward is the last one alive here. Now we're going to want to enter the Aether... Uh, oh, no. You're, you're fake Edward. Get out of here. Fake Edward. Fake Edward. Fake Edward. Go away. So we're going to want to enter the Aether using this portal right here. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Once we enter... Edward, stop! I want to protect you. I'm your friend. Stop it. Leave me alone. Edward, come on. 
All right, so once we are here back on the Aether, we're going to want to go over back. We're going to want to go over here into this room. There's a journal here. Dr. Vogel's diary. And then your DIE signal is going to say something. Anomaly detected. Oh, yeah, that thing's not going to be nice. That thing will spawn, and it's not nice. It doesn't split, though, which is nice. And you can beam it in half a second. You're dead. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm out of ammo. That's not good. Oh, don't kill Edward. Oh, it's mad. Oh, God, without the cryometer, this thing takes bullets like freaking candy from a child. Okay, 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 I'm double packing. I'm sorry, that was quick detour. I didn't know that I was that low on ammo, and I can't kill Edward or else the next round's gonna spawn. Okay, 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 you can stop. You can stop, dude. Leave me alone. Leave me, leave me... Edward, leave me alone, Edward. Edward, stop. Edward, Edward. Dude, stop. So it doesn't split, it'll just die like that. So you're going to want to bring it over here when it says anomaly detected. You're going to want to bring it to this guy. Give Dr. Vogel's diary. I don't care what you have to say. You're German, you're evil. Dr. Kurt, I don't know. Okay, now we're going to bring it to this. You're going to bring it here, reveal the specter thingy. Give it to him. Voices are so ominous. You're still talking, bro. What? All right here we go. We're gonna bring it over here, and the last one's under pack table. Now, once you give the diary to this guy, and then he's the final one. Now we just wait for it to take us back into the other dimension. Edward, dude, stop. Oh no, he changed. Oh, Edward. No, now you're a bad guy. Or an even badder guy. You look like a Nazi soldier. Before, you couldn't even be told. You could have just been Hitler. Alright, so we're going to wait for this clown to stop talking. And then it'll bring us back to the other dimension. I'm going to actually replenish on armor real quick. Okay, dude. You can stop talking. This is taking a while. Alright, so after he's done, he will teleport, and then we will be able to go back. And then two Aether Rifts are going to spawn now. Um, one is going to be under Pack-a-Punch Table, and one's going to be in a completely random spot. If you don't do the one in Pack-a-Punch Table, you cannot do the uh, the thing. But it's not going to spawn yet, because I forgot a part that we have to do. We have to go over here, and uh, oh shoot, I'm going to need ammo. Because two of the uh, bad things spawn, and uh, that's not fun. Frick. Whatever, we can teleport. Oh, no, we can't teleport. All right, so if we die here, we do have self, but we, we'd be probably screwed. All right, so right here, enter password. E-H-V. So we have to charge capacitors. So now, if the... Oh, there's something you don't see in your average evil Nazi secret bunker. All right. By the looks of it, it was built specifically for the... I think a new one's going to spawn so here. Yep, okay. So a new... Um, Aether is going to spawn here after you do that. You're going to want to go into this Aether. And then there's three things you need to get and make three trips. This is not as long as it actually took because it took a while with Brandon because he was so stupid and he didn't know where to go. So we're going to go here and then we're going to want to go... Um, we're just going to let Edward sit here with us. I think the my thing, my act thingies are going to spawn. So that's not fun. Uh, yeah, one spawns every time we go into the Aether. And you need all three to do your thing. Oh, the my act's here. I hear him. Or I see him on the thing. Oh my god! He jumped up right in my face. Oh my god, that's the biggest jump scare I've ever had. Oh my god, dude. Screw freaking Friday the 13th and freaking Five Nights at Freddy's, dude. A giant freaking beast jumping up on your screen. Oh my god. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. So that's one of three locations. There's one up on Penthouse, there's one down here, and there's one up by Jug. So you're going to want to grab each of these, and then after you kill this guy, it should take you back in the other dimension. You have to kill this guy to go back, though. Oh, my God. Oh, you're mad. You're really, you're really not a good person. Oh, Edward, I'm sorry. Edward, I'm sorry, Edward. Edward, stop getting in my way. I don't want to shoot you in the face. I don't want you taking the bullets for this idiot here. Come on, Edward. Come on, Edward. Edward, Edward, here. We can talk. Okay, Edward. 
Oh, he's dead. Okay, Jesus. Wait, round 17. He killed Edward because he was next. Wait, you're not dead? Oh, I headshot Edward. I headshot Edward. I'm so sorry. And I can't use this thing either. I can't use this thing. Yeah, you can only suck up one at a time. It's going to bring us back soon, and we're going to want to take this thing down. Um, yeah, I'm going to be screwed here soon. This is not going to be good. What the heck, dude? Right there. No! Oh my god, you can't have the cryo ammo. You need to shoot it with a giant... Ah. Uh. Well, uh, I can't do the Easter egg anymore. I'm so... Wait, did I charge it? Did I get it? I need to, I need to kill everything. I need to kill everything to see. I think you need to have it with the shockwave. You can't shoot it with the cryo or else it won't work. Because the, the regular one shoots out a big orange ball of uh, fire or whatever at it. And I don't think that this thing works. Oh, no. Well, um, if I can't complete it now, you know how to do it. And then as soon as you shoot that thing with all the energy from the other two crystals, it'll work. I just did not know that you had to use it on, uh... Wait, okay, let me go check if it's charged. I'm just gonna leave the freaking Meg there, because that thing's so annoying. Is it charged? No. So, as you can see, when you shoot it with the regular die shockwave bullets, that thing will go up. And now that I can't use it, uh, yeah, I can't open it because I wasted one of the crystals. So, yeah, that, that kind of screwed me over, but now you guys know how to do it. I'm just gonna switch back to the regular die shockwave thing here. I'm just gonna take it back. Thank you. I'm gonna give you 36 ammo. How convenient. I hope the crystal's up top still. And the Mayak just wants. Frick me, man. Is the crystal still up here because I wasted it? Probably not. Oh, it is! Thank you, game. Thank you. I got it. Alright, crystal energy is secured. And now we gotta kill everything with the chopper gunner and the MP5. Where's the Mayak? That thing's not gonna be friendly to me, is it? Okay, so I can keep doing it. So I'm gonna be back. I'll be back when I get back into the uh, normal world. All right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down. No, 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 no. Oh shoot! Okay, my gun's really a pea shooter against these things. It's not even a pea shooter. It just doesn't do enough damage. Well, that means it's a pea shooter. I'm just gonna stop. Is that a nuke? That's insta. Oh, I can't even insta suck. That's painful. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was the last zombie. Edward, I'm so sorry. I'm continuously screwing myself, dude. What? Are you dead? Wait, what? He died! Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you serious? I seriously didn't kill him. And now I'm glitched on this screen. I... I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. That is so annoying. What the heck, game? What the heck? Okay, well, the last two spots, one's right next to... One's on the left of Juggernog, and one is, um, down by the other side. So when you're running past Juggernog, you're gonna want to run down past the, um... If, if I didn't freaking screw this up with the cryo thing, I would have gotten it if I didn't have to go and redo the cryo thing. Oh my god. I killed the last zombie again? No... But yeah, it's right next to the Juggernog. It's, there's the one on top, right next to Juggernog. And then there's one right next to where the fungus thing that I did earlier, right next to that thing. Suck those three up, put them in the crate. After you do all three, you will get your reward. I am sorry for freaking selling like that. And now the game servers just crash or something. I don't even know. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. This has been an hour of recording. Dang. Painful. All right, well...
Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.